Hello there, folks. DJ Bergstar here, back with another tip of the day. So today I want to talk more about the drum rack and just how cool it is and how many controls it has. And today we're just going to focus on one thing. Um, you can randomize the panning. And that's what I'd like to do to some of these samples to really liven up a very simple drum pattern. So I've dropped in here this 505 Classic Kit and I put together a pretty simple MIDI pattern. Let's listen to it real quick. All right, so if you double click on one of the samples, you'll be presented with the sample itself. And here there's some controls with the transposition and the volume and things. Um, but we're going to focus here on the controls. So when you click on controls, you'll be presented with a lot of other things you can do. So right now we're on the closed hi-hat and you can pan that left or right. Um, which is a good thing to do, um, but um, randomizing the panning can really add a lot of movement to these hi-hats and when you're playing it together with your whole track it can sort of liven up these drums quite a bit just by doing this one thing. So uh, let's listen to this maybe in solo so we can hear what we're doing. Let's play this and I'll solo it. Now you see how static that is. You'll need stereo headphones or speakers to hear this properly, but let's randomize the panning on this. So if I crank this up, let's just go all the way to 100%. Now you can see that it's dancing around from speaker to speaker and really livens that hi-hat up quite a bit. Okay, so also what I found is is if you have other percussion in your loop, like toms or other percussion, you can do this trick as well and it sounds really good. You probably don't want to randomize the panning to your kick drum and your snare drum um, because those are sort of supposed to stay in a solid place. But um, if you have a tom here, which I do, let's randomize that as well. Uh, we'll crank that up maybe in the 70s range over here and we'll get this other tom and we'll crank that up into the 70s as well and now the whole pattern should have a lot more movement in it let's play it i like the way those toms now are sort of dancing around a little bit play that with some music and see what that sounds like. Okay, well that's my quick tip of the day. So randomizing your panning on your hi-hats and maybe some other percussion in a simple loop can really liven it up and, you know, put some excitement into those drums. So that's my tip of the day. Thanks again for watching. Hope to see you guys on the next one. DJ Bergstar out.